A love school test, a whole building devoted entirely to learning. And I'm all prepared. I have pens and pencils, even a spiral notebook and... Anything in that bag for me? <laughs> so, which one is he? Right there, baby. Oh, I feel so bad. I didn't even notice him. That happens way too much around here. He's even a mystery to his mother. Make that especially a mystery to his mother. Aaron. Aaron. You know, if you don't start paying attention, the whole world is going to knock you down. Even if it's... Uh, what's that word? Um, uh, inadvertent? I-N-A-D-V-E-R-T-E-N-T? -E -E Meaning unintentional, from the middle Latin. You know, if you keep this up, you're not going to have any friends. What are you doing here? I left your lunch in the truck. Thanks, Mom. Don't forget to stop by the grocery after school, okay? Harry has the list. All you've got to do is pick the stuff up from him. Right after school, Aaron. No excuses. Well, he may have a wee bit of a problem with his mother, but he certainly doesn't seem to have a problem with words. That boy loves words. He studies them. He spells them. He memorizes them. Aaron loves words like most kids love basketball or football. And that's a good thing. Well, it's his gift and his handicap. You see, Angel Girl, words can be used to express wonderful thoughts and ideas, but it can also be used to hide from the world. And that's his problem. Aaron only feels truly connected to three things in his life. Words, his father, and over there. That's Michael. That's Aaron's brother. The best wrestler in Minnesota this year. And a real local hero here at Olympus. Hey, you, you little squirt, huh? <laughs> An Aaron huh? champion in his life. Oh, it's a good thing he has a brother who cares about him that much. He should be very blessed. Well, that's true. But things are about to metamorphose, and you have to be there, honey, when it happens. Meta what? Starts with an M, and it's from the Greek to transform. Uh, you better get studied up. Because this little boy's future is at stake. And to him, spelling counts. When you walk down the road, heavy burden, heavy load, I will rise and I will. This is an exciting time for us, Tess. All this fuss over a little wrestling, man? There's nothing little about it. Michael Gibson has put this town on the map again. Do you know how many college recruiters have been through here in the past several months? Well, that's good for Michael Gibson. That's good for all of us. It makes the whole school look good. It makes the whole school feel good. Success breeds success. I'll check in with you later. Congratulations, Aaron Gibson. You're the first one to sign up for the spelling bee. And probably the last. Nobody ever signs up for these things. Well, you just did. Spelling is the foundation of communication. But try telling that to the illiterati of this school. Well, I think you have a great potential. Potential? P-O-T-N-T-I-A-L. A latent excellence that may or may not be developed. <laughs> All right, Davis, hand control. Take him down. All right. Take him down. Come on. Where the hips? Right. Post up. Post up. Post up. 
75% gives it. Save it for the match Friday. Come on, Michael, take him down! Hello, Aaron Gibson. Yeah? I'm Monica. I'm a spelling tutor, and I'd like to be able to help you get ready for the qualification test on Friday. Um, already ready. Who said I need help? Someone who thought my loquaciousness might be an asset. L loquaciousness? L O Q. L O Q U A C I O U S N E S S? Talk and you're tending to talk much or freely. Loquaciousness. Good one. Well, if you're going to be a spelling tutor, you need to know how to spell. I don't mean to cast aspersions on your abilities. I'm sure you're going to do very well, Aaron. Just want you to know I'm here to help if you want it. I guess it would be fun to have someone to train with. Kind of like Michael does. Uh, oh, oh no, I, I, I gotta go. Figured when Michael's little brother didn't show up, I'd better bring these things over myself. I didn't want to disrupt Michael's training schedule. Thanks, Harry. So, Friday's the big day, huh? Ugh, last meet before district. No, I'm gonna be the best champion from Olympus since... Well, since you, Mary. Oh, that was a long time ago. My sprinting days are over. <laughs> Michael's been a, a godsend these past two years. Finally, this town has got something to be excited about again. Well, I sure am proud of him. <laughs> Oh, Harry, oh. I didn't pay for all this stuff. Well, I just threw in a few extra things for Michael, like those yogurt-covered nuts that he likes, on the house. Uh, hi, kid. Thank you, Harry, that was yeah. real sweet. See you, Mary. You see what happens when you don't pay attention? Made Harry come all the way over here out of his way. I had to come home in mid-shift. And don't give me that line about mega, mega... Mitigating circumstances. M-I-T-I-G... Stop it, Aaron. Don't correct your mother. You know, nobody talks that way. M Monica does. She's helping... Uh, why don't you get out a little? Get some fresh air. Maybe take the trash out with you on the way. I mean, do you have to just sit around spelling everything all the time? I'm not like you and Michael, Mom. I I'm xenogenic. You're what? Xenogenic. X-E-N-O-G-E-N-I-C. Xenogenic. From the Greek xenos meaning foreigners and genic meaning from the genes, completely and permanently different from the parent. CQ, 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 20 meters to U, N, 3, R, H. This is K, 0, X, B, X. CQ, CQ, CQ. 20 meters to U, N, 3, R, H. This is K, 0, X, B, X. C, Q, C, Q, C, Q. 20 meters to U, N, 3, R, H. This is K, 0, X, B, X. You out there? Breathing you, K, 0, X, B, X. This is U, N, 3, R, H. Hey, Boris. Hello, Michael Gibson. How is the famous American wrestling star? Ready for Olympics? Indubitably. I, N, D... Unless my little brother Aaron screws it up for me. He's thinking about getting into this spelling competition and it's making me mom crazy. Knock, knock. Uh, sorry, gotta go. Gotta lose another pound before Friday. K0XBX, QRT, K0XBX, clear. You okay? I heard mom kind of went off on you this afternoon, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe this will cheer you up. You got another one. From Dad? Wow, that's two this month already. I know. He must be thinking a lot about you these days. I wish Mom hadn't driven Dad away. Things would be a lot better around here. Hey, you can't blame Mom. Believe me, Dad was no picnic. Yeah, well, at least he doesn't think I'm a geek like Mom does. Buddy. She doesn't think you're a geek. Yeah, she does. And she's right. No way! What are you talking about? Hey, you're the coolest, little bro. All I can do is spell words. Man, I'd give a million bucks to be able to spell like you do. 
Yeah? Yeah. There's a qualifying test for the Midwest Regional Spelling Bee this Friday. Same time as your meet. That's perfect. I'll go to mine, you go to yours. We'll both come back winners. I suppose we should get started. Are you ready? I am, but I'm not sure about Aaron. Well, that's why he's surrounded by angels. Well, this is your big day. They're not going to abrogate the results because no one else showed up, are they? No. The results will be valid. It's a written exam, so you get an individual score just as if the room were filled. So, are you ready to get started? Onomatopoeia, the making of a word by imitation of a sound. That's it. All done. One hundred words. Now, I just need you to sign along the bottom. And I'll deliver it myself. You'll get the results in a few days. But I'm sure you got them all right. Even that onomata one. <laughs> then what happens? Well, then you'll qualify for the Midwest Regional Spelling Bee Championship. They're being held at the state capitol. Do they give you a trophy? Of course they do. Hello. Excuse me. Ah, Mrs. Adams. Erin, your mother would like you to come home right away. Now, I'm going to drive you home, baby. What's the matter? A, a truck. A drunk driver hit Coach Higby's car on the highway about an hour ago. The coach is going to be fine, but your brother, baby, he didn't survive. Michael's dead? Yes, he is, baby. But he died instantly. He didn't feel any pain. It's time to go. I told you I'm not going. Don't you want to say goodbye? No, go away. Leave him alone if that's what he wants. He's a smart boy. He'll decide on his own. Michael Gibson was a great athlete and a true competitor. And I loved him as if he were my own son. I don't think I have to tell any of you the impact that Michael Gibson had on this town. It gave us hope. It gave us a dream. It gave us something to all come together for. I wish it had been me and said, Michael, these people love you. I love you for your strength, your commitment, and your spirit. And we will miss you. This scripture, I think, is such a perfect choice for Michael. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Go 
away. Hello, Aaron. Monica? Yes. You've qualified for the regional spelling championship. Congratulations. So what? I know this is a terribly painful time for you, Aaron. But you work so hard for this. You know you have the right to be happy about it. D don't you get it? Michael is dead. Nothing matters. Especially a bunch of stupid words. Words are life, Aaron. Don't you see? You know, you speak and you give birth to your thoughts. And you send them out into the universe and suddenly they have power. In the beginning, there was the word. You know, did you notice that God never did anything without putting it into words first? Let there be light, he said. And there was light. He spoke the entire world into existence. And you can be sure he knew how to spell all the words too. God has given you a precious gift, Aaron. The gift of language and words. And the power that goes with them. He wants you to use that gift. So does Michael. Spelling isn't going to bring Michael back. The team wants to skip the district meet. Nobody has a heart for it without Michael. The kid was something. What a shame. Why did it have to be Michael of all people? We ought to do something to remember him. Michael was such a remarkable young man. We were trying to figure out a way to honor him. How do you feel about a scholarship in Michael's name? You mean to help another athlete? I think Michael would have liked that. Thanks. It's the least we could do, Mary. I made a lot of food. And I put it in the freezer. You just make sure you eat it because it's not going to do you any good not to take care of yourself right now. Thanks, Tess. How is Aaron doing? He's handling this the way he handles everything by himself. Just like his father. Well, his tutor, Monica, said that he qualified for the regional spelling bee championships. Spelling bee championships? Well, I know this is an awkward time, but your son got the highest score of all the contestants. Words. Aaron. Aaron. I'm going upstairs. I just don't know how to get through to him. This rough, Michael. Little Aaron gone. I can't believe it. Yeah, so, uh, I, I gotta get going, Ramon. And you're probably not gonna hear from me for a while. Where are you going to go? As far as I can. K0 XBX QRT. K0 XBX clear.
How you doing, Mary? Keeping busy. You need something, Tess? I want to talk to you about your other son. Aaron's a smart kid. He'll be all right. Yes, he is smart. But brains have nothing to do with the heart. And Aaron's heart is just as broken as yours right now. I know. But he doesn't share those things with me, so... He's got school, and I've got work. And we'll get through it. Well... He didn't show up at school today. Hey! You need a cab? Hey, you look familiar. That could be. I'll get around. Okay, so do you want to just keep driving around or do you remember where it is you want to go? I don't know yet. Do you have to keep asking me that? Oh, no, no. I can, I can sing if you want. You know, I do a great rendition of Danny Boy. A rendition? R-E-N-D-I-T-I-O-N. From the old French Ronde to give back. So a fellow connoisseur of linguistics, huh? I used to be. You reinventing yourself? Yeah. I I'm gonna start over. That's why I'm going to see my dad. He'll appreciate whatever I do. It always does. Okay, then dad's it is. What's the address? Uh, maybe we should get something to eat first. Okay, you're the boss. Okay. You had a burger, extra ketchup, no pickles, right? Thanks. So, um, it's been a while since you've seen your dad, huh? Straw? Yeah. He left when I was just a kid, but he writes me letters all the time. I have most of them in my bag. See? Whoa. Looks like somebody cares a lot about you. Yeah, he's proud of me. He understands. He's the only one left who does. But Mom, uh, she doesn't get it, huh? Nah. Just my dad and my brother Michael. My mom only cares about Michael. And he died. You know, um, it can be pretty rough on a family, you know, to lose somebody like that. But I'm sure that your mom cares about you, too. It doesn't matter anymore. Right, because we are on our way to start a new life. Hmm? My name is, uh, Andrew, by the way. Aaron. Hey. Eighteen forty seven. That ought to be on the right side. This can't be right. This is the address here. This is it. Understand. How could this be where my father lives? Well, father doesn't live here. But, but the letters, he said. Well, why would he lie to me? You see, this is the address he puts on the envelopes. Like last year when he sent me my dictionary. And this one came a couple months after I got beat up after school. And I got this one right after my mom and I had a big fight about. How do you always know about those things? Um, look at these, these postmarks. Brainerd, Minnesota. Great Falls, Eau Claire. 
happens are all the places where Michael had his away meets. Dad must have been going to Michael's matches. Well, Aaron, maybe... Maybe your dad didn't go to Michael's matches. What do you mean? Take a look at the handwriting. Now, does that look like your dad's handwriting, or maybe... Michael's? You know, buddy, maybe... Maybe your brother loved you so much that he tried to give you something that he thought that you wanted. Maybe Michael wrote those letters and he signed your dad's name to it because he loved you that much that no matter how busy he was or how successful he was, he always had time for his little brother. He wrote these letters. My father never cared about me. Look, I know this is tough for you. You know, you, you've had a lot of loss in your life. And now this, this is like losing your dad all over again. I'm gonna tell you something. It is okay to be angry. Oh, I'm not angry. Everything is copacetic. C-O-P-A. I think you are angry. You gotta do something to, to let it out because if you don't, it just, it just eats you up inside. I mean, you've lost your dad. You've lost your brother. Don't lose yourself. Prevaricator. One who lies. PR. Aaron. Aaron, hey, 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 look, I know... I know that you're hurting really, really bad, but sooner or later you're gonna have to deal with these feelings. Betrayal. B-E-T-R-A. You need to go home. You and your mother, you can work this out. I know you can. So come on. Get in the car. Take you home. Good. You are making me dizzy. Well, this is what I do when I'm upset, Tess. I run. I put on my track shoes and I run until I can't think anymore. That's what I did when Ed left me. That's what I did after Michael was killed. Well, it's time to stop running. I don't know how. Oh, Aaron! Aaron! Welcome home, baby. Thank you. Thanks. Where have you been? I went to see Dad in Minneapolis. Of all the stupid things. What made you think that he was in Minneapolis? Empirical evidence. E.M. Stop it, Aaron! The letters. You mean like this one? It's mine. It's addressed to me. Who is it from? Michael. Michael wrote them. He wrote them, he signed them from Dad, and he sent them to me. Why? Because you don't believe in me? I believe in you. No, you don't. You believe in Michael. Well, there are a lot of people who do believe in you, Aaron. In fact, they've decided to give the Michael Gibson scholarship money to you to pay your way to the state capitol for the Midwest Spelling Bee Championships. I'm not going to that stupid spelling bee. Wait a minute, Aaron. That's not the same little boy that took such joy in words. We're losing him. I don't know what to say to him. I never know what to say to him. I know that parents aren't supposed to have favorites, but God help me, Michael was mine. No, he wasn't. You just connected with Michael because he was most like you. No. It's more than that. You want to know the real truth? Every time I look at Aaron, I see my ex-husband, Ed. He looks just like him, he acts just like him, he even dreams like him. Ed always had his nose stuck in a book, too. Maybe I wasn't smart enough for Ed.
What if I'm not smart enough for my son? What's going on here? I am an angel. I'm sent by God to bring you one word. Truth. Oh, God, have I completely lost my mind? No, baby. You just lost your way, and God wants to help you get back on track. Aaron and I are just different, Tess, like Ed and I were different. They're students. Michael and I were athletes. I've never known how to get through to somebody like that. I never have. Well, for starters, you could stop looking for the differences and try to find some common ground. And you better do it quick. Because if you keep running, you're gonna run right past your son. I'm not good with words like Aaron is. Oh, baby, this is not about who's smarter than who. And this is not about who knows the most words. This is about a little boy that needs his mama. And you're the only one he's got. And you want to know something else? He's all you've got. And whether you know it or not, God loves you. And so does this little boy. He may not be able to say it, but he spells it out to you every day. L-O-V-E. Love, baby. Love. Love. I know you can, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry, Aaron. I guess I haven't been a very good mother to you a lot of the time. But honey, I never meant to make you feel like you weren't important. I'm just not good with words, Aaron. Not like you. See, you know how to do something that I can't do, and that scared me, because I was afraid that you wouldn't respect me or love me. But I guess maybe it's okay for kids to know something that their parents don't know. Maybe we could even learn from each other. I know you're pretty upset with me right now, and I don't blame you. I just want you to know that I love you, and that I am real proud of who you are. K0XBX clear. Do you believe in angels?
Celestia. C E L E S T I A L. Aaron, there is a time for everything. There's a time to live, there's a time to die. There's a time to spell, and there's a time to stop spelling and stop doing anything, anything that stands in the way of letting you feel what it is that you need to feel. In the car with Michael, in the back seat, that was you. Yeah. I was with your brother when he died. Take me to him? I can't do that. I'm here to help you live. You didn't help Michael. Yes, I did. I helped Michael get to where it was that he needed to go. And I'm here to help you do the same. Did you read the last letter that Michael sent you? Mm-mm. Deception. D V E C P T I O N. No. It's the truth. These are the words that Michael wanted to share with you. Hey, Aaron. I just wanted to drop you a quick note to tell you to knock him dead at the spelling bee. I know you'll do it. You're the smartest kid I know. But you know what? Winning a spelling bee just means you're a good speller. Like winning a wrestling match only means you can wrestle. You're more than that, Aaron. You're a great kid. And I'm proud of you. Really proud. I wish I could be there to see it. Abandoned. A-B-A-N-D-O-N-E-D. God will never abandon you. He will never leave you or forsake you. That's the difference between God and people. People, sometimes they let you down, but God never will. Because he loves you perfectly, unconditionally. U-N-C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N-A-L-L-Y. Aaron, God really loves you. To him, you are his beautiful child. Let him be your father and your brother and your friend now. And trust him with all those things that frighten you and all those things that, that hurt you. And also trust him with your hopes and your, your dreams. He just wants to be the best friend you've ever had. God likes me. <sighs> yeah. A lot. He thinks you're a great kid. I'm so sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Me too. Do you know how proud of you I am? Even if I'm never going to be any good at sports. Well, I'm never going to be a champion speller. But I sure love you. I love you with all of my heart. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> the word is gang. Easy, G-N-G, -G, gang. No, always ask for the derivation, Aaron. This gang is French, from the Greek. Okay, so it's... G-A-N-G-U-E. Yes, that's right. Should we try another one? You're going to come with me to the finals, right? No, I'm not. 
But there's someone else who's asked permission to be there. And I'll be waiting right here for you when you come back. I'm so proud of you. C-Y-A-N, Cyan. That is correct. <laughs> quiet, quiet, please. Charlie, the next word is quintessence. Quintessence. Q U I N T E S. S-A-N-C-E. Quintessence. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Pamela? Quintessence. Q-U-I-N-T-E-S-S-E-N-C-E. -S -S -E. Quintessence. That is correct. Aaron Gibson. Now take your time, Aaron. The word is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. K A Z A K H S T A N. Kazakhstan. That is correct. We're down to our two finalists. One of you will be the next Midwest Regional Champion. All right, Lori, are you ready for your word? The word is saponaceous. Saponaceous. S-A-P-O-N-A-C-I-O-U-S. Saponaceous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Aaron, if you get this word correct and can spell the next word, you will be our next champion. The word is saponaceous. From the Latin? Yes. Saponaceous. S A P O N A C E O U S. Saponaceous. That is correct. Yeah. Aaron, if you get this word correct, you will be our new champion. Are you ready, Aaron? For the championship, the word is rapprochement. M may I have a derivation, please? From the French. The state of reconciliation, to make friendly again after an estrangement. Rapprochement. R A P P R O Monica, I remember what you said. I remember to ask for the derivation. But then I was so nervous I couldn't remember if it was O A or O C H E. So what did you do? I asked God to help me. And God came through. Just like he always does. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's great. That's I'm so proud of you. Mom was pretty proud of me. Good man, good man, good man.